Jared, there was no holding back in that intra club, was there? No, there wasn't. There was a few big contests. Um, it was a good hit out and a good blowout, which, which is what we need um, coming into JLT. How are you finding the pre-season? Yeah, pretty good. It's been a solid pre-season, just looking forward to getting into more games now. What do you learn from a bloke like Boomer, having him out there? Yeah, he's good. He's good to run around. He's a real quick bloke. He's still got, he's still got the skill to play, so um, no, he's good to have out there. Good to learn off of the young boys as well. What role do you reckon you'll play this year? I mean, uh, similar to what you were? Yeah, pretty, pretty similar uh, role to what I played in the past, which is on the wing, so um, there's no secrets there. They say changes is as good as the holidays. Have you found that already? You haven't obviously played a game, but just uh, being at the club here? Yeah, definitely. It's been a fresh start and uh, learning new, new, new role and um, learning, learning how all the guys go about it um, over here has been fantastic and they yeah, are really looking forward to getting into the season. Has anything surprised you or, or anything particularly that they do starkly different? Yeah. Um, I guess all 18 teams play similar role, but over here, um, just how hard they go at it. Um, the pre-season's been one of the hardest I've done for a while, and um, yeah, it's just it's fantastic. It's a it's a good culture. Um, everyone's really close, and um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Hardest in <clears throat> running. Did it uh, just the competitiveness um, early on. Um, there was no holding back. Um, you got the, some big blokes in the inside, so um, yeah, it was it was really good. Do you feel like you've got a point to prove at all, Jared, in make it, when you make such a move? Um, I've done the move before, so um, I'm pretty used to how to go about it and, and, what, and what to do. Um, there is, a, I guess, there's a little bit of expectation, but um, just got to play my role and uh, it'll, it'll keep me in the side. A lot of matches in this summer, I believe. Jared, do you feel as though you're really close to gelling with the new teammates or still got a bit of way to go then? I think we're all starting to gel now. It's, it's at that time where it starts to get on the, on the business side and the more games we get in, the more we gel, and I think we're pretty close. Have you pencilled in the match when you take on uh, your former teammates? Uh, I couldn't even tell you when it is, to be honest. I think round one's more important. <laughs> what do you make of the new rules and, and what impacts that having on footy generally? Oh, I, I think um, from a centre square bounce point of view, um, there's quite a quite a big difference, um, especially being an inside mid. If you've got some speed on there, um, get on the outside, there's a lot more space to work with. Any of your new teammates have surprised you how good they are? Yeah, definitely. Um, even just the new blokes as well, like Bailey Scott coming in, um, just the, the way he wants to learn his craft and everything, it's, it's been fantastic. Or well, you got your typicals like Cunners, J Mac, um, Taz, like they're just, they're just um, naturally gifted in that area too. You must be pretty optimistic where North can, can go this year. I think all 18 teams are at this stage of the year. Um, no matter who you talk to, they're going to say their expectations finals and we're one of them as well. Uh, we've brought in players at this club um, to make a difference and uh, hopefully we can get up there. Nice to get the chocolates over the city team today. Yeah, definitely. It's always good when the city get over country. Um, it doesn't happen too often, so it was a good one. Given you've made the move before from Brisbane to Port now, Nick, how long does it take realistically to kind of get into a sense of being with your teammates and performing at the level that you need to? Do you need six, eight weeks? What's your... I don't know. We'll find out when games come around. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later. But your experience crossing from Brisbane to Port, did it take you a while to get into it? Or? Uh, no, it didn't. It, 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 took, it takes uh, probably about a month learning a new um, game plan. It's more the language side of things, so it takes a bit longer, but you get used to it pretty quickly. What about off the field? Is there, does it, you know, there's obviously, you know, getting to know the game plan, but getting to know your teammates too, do you kind of make a bit more of an effort to, you know, get out for dinner with them, all that sort of stuff? I guess it's I guess it's pretty similar, um, no matter where you are. If you've got a strong culture, everyone gets around each other, and that's what this club's all about.